Hello everyone, and welcome back. I'm Mark Thompson, these are Ultrix Tutorials. Today's session is going to be weekly challenge number 270. It's a beginner challenge, and it talks about you've got a horse race with four horses. What is every single possible combination that could, that could uh, result in the race? You have to keep in mind that you can't have one horse in two places. You can't have a single horse coming in first and third. Now, mind you, it gets a little tricky because there are two horses named Sally. So let's go ahead and jump on in here and take a look at what we've got and how we put it together. So we start out with four horses, Sally, Elmer, Sally, and Mr. Ed. In this, the first thing, especially because we've got two horses named Sally, we want to give these an ID. We want to say, hey, we're going to record you your horse. One, two, three, and four. What we're going to do is we're going to append, and we're going to append the same information on both the target and the source. So what we do here is we append, and the result of that is saying every combination of those two. Well, you've got Sally and Sally, Sally and Elmer, Sally and Sally, Sally and Mr. Ed, Elmer and Sally, Elmer and Elmer, Elmer and Sally, Elmer and Mr. Ed. And you've got every combination of these. So you've got four horses, you've got 16 results. Now, mind you, this record ID is now record one, two, three, four, so that you can tell the difference between the Sally's. We're going to take and we're going to do that again, effectively rinse and repeat. The results coming out of here, we've got the second place ones, and now we're going to append that back to the original four horses. So each one of these 16 results can have four horses each. So let's take a look at what that is. We're talking about first place, second place, third place. So now we've got a Sally and a Sally and a Sally. Sally, Sally, Elmer. Sally, Sally, Sally. Sally, Sally, Mr. Ed. And now we get down to second place on this second one. And so we go through the second places. One, two, three, four. And we get down to the third places. One, two, three, four. And we get down to the fourth places. One, two, three, four. Now we go with the second place for this first Sally, one, two, three. And so as we continue to do that, you see we now are at 64 records. And let's do this one last time. We're going to append the output of that, these 64 records, back again to each of our four horses to come up with a fourth place finish. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stick an ID on every one of those combinations. So we've got now we're at 256 different combinations. Well, here we now need to decide how this works. And so we create a formula where we say, hey, if since we, we need to eliminate all of the combinations where the same horse is in those spots. So obviously Sally, 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 and Sally doesn't really work. So if first place number equals the second place number, then no. If the first place equals the third place, no. If the first place equals the fourth place, no. Then we take the second. We've already accounted for the first place, so does the second equal the third? Then no. Does second equal the fourth? Then no. And now we're down to the final one, which is third place equal fourth place, and then no. Otherwise, we say yes. Next, we do a simple filter and you say, hey, we only want those ones where it's a yes. By the way, I should mention back here, we do a little bit of naming convention where I put this in here and it's first place, winning horse, second place, second place horse, third place, third place horse, fourth place, and fourth place horse. That's what we're calculating on right here. Finally, we come up with filtering only the yeses. So there are, with four horses, there are 24 combinations of horses. 
let's go ahead and get rid of some of those columns and you can tell I had this here so I'm going to forget those and this is what we're left with the winning horse second place third place and fourth place and these are all of the different possible combinations that you could have 24 of them and that wraps up this particular challenge hope you liked it as always if you did, please hit like, please share with your friends. And uh, as always, make a comment, give us some feedback. We'd love to know what you think. Again, I am Mark Thompson. These are all tricks tutorials. Please come again. We will see you next time.